remember back in high school when Alyssa and I, we would talk about boys and our crushes and all the characteristics we wanted our crushes to have and our future husbands and everything. And I remember mine was something silly like, oh, I just want him, you know, to be athletic, have brown hair and be a, a nice man. <laughs> something, something basic. And hers was along the lines of, I want him to be the kindest man I've ever met, have a relationship with God, be athletic, be selfless, be the most caring man I've ever met, be respectful to everyone they interact with, have a good sense of humor, and literally be Prince Charming. <laughs> And to be a literal Prince Charming, and I remember going home that day, and I was like, dang, I feel bad for her. She's like, I don't know, like, it's just, like I hope that person exists. <laughs> like, that, <laughs> that's a lot. Like, she wants Prince Charming. And then I remember meeting Robbie, and the more I got to know him, I was like, wow, he checks off all of these boxes that our 15, our 15 year old selves mentioned, and even more than we've mentioned. And the list goes on. Um, so Robbie was your literal and is your literal Prince Charming, which is so sweet. Holy smoke! Wow! Wow! Oh my goodness! Ooh. Ooh. You guys, ready for a wedding? Yeah. All right, let's do it. The first time I met Alyssa. It was over a FaceTime call while he was in Italy. And I knew this hairy beast had gone over there for a study abroad trip. But when I saw this gorgeous native Italian chick come into the screen, I hands down thought he'd got himself a girlfriend over there. And he was going to bring her back and show her America. And It was about 15 seconds later, I figured out she knew it very well. All of heaven is rejoicing because of this marriage and uh, we are so blessed to be able to witness this and I am forever changed because of the love that you share with each other and you will continue to share that with the world and change the world because of that. I'm proud of you, I love you, and Robbie, thank you for being someone we respect so much. Thank you for being someone who we trust so much. I've lived far away from Melissa for a long time but I've never felt so safe knowing that she will be cared for for the rest of her life and that's my greatest desire for her because she deserves the world. You guys are undoubtedly going to have a strong marriage because of your faith and dedication to God. I'm so happy that you guys are getting married and can finally start your lives together. I wish you guys a happy marriage and a happy life that is finally together. I love you both dearly. So cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Hankins. Robbie received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I want to hold you close, but never hold you back, just like the banks to the river. Congratulations to Robbie and Alyssa, you make us the right. we hope and pray for the ideal person to come into your child's life. We never imagined how God would answer that prayer. From Italy, there were a few Instagram pictures of a recurring girl. 
and WhatsApp chat. There we go. Um, about a racket club in San Jose and Terrell Elementary. Very confusing. And then we learned about Alyssa. And what we didn't know was how our lives would change. As our family and friends have had a chance to meet and spend time with Alyssa, they all say the same. She is so kind, genuine, and inquisitive, very intentional. She's present and fully engaged. Her heart shines with the love of Jesus, and being around her makes us all better. I want to hold you close, but never hold you back. I'll be the banks for your How are we feeling tonight? Baby, when the current gets strong, you need somewhere to rest your bones. I wanna be there for you. I wanna be strong for you. It's like the banks do the river And if you ever feel like you are not enough I'm gonna break all your mirrors I wanna be there when the darkness closes in To make the truth a little clearer Your love clearly imitates Christ's love that he has for his church and for each of us. It just encompasses the yeah, the sacrificial aspect, the laying your life down, but also the joy, um, the joy of the resurrection. You both have laid so many desires down, so many plans that you thought you had um, for the good of each other and the good of, yeah, following the Lord's will. Be the banks for your